over 12 million Brits are tattooed. Some are works of art. But ultimately, one in four is seen as a disaster. Tonight on Tattoo Disasters UK, an underage inking leads to years of regret. Just a spare of the moment thing, a stupid thing for me to do. The musical tattoo that turns deathly. I realised they played the funeral march. The much hated gangster rap pistols that need shooting. I wasn't part of a gang, I wish I'd never done it. And top tattooist Kevin Paul heads for a new look. You don't look at the ink bits, you look at the pink bits. You have to be 18 and over to get a tattoo in the UK. But plasterer Tom from Warsaw got his illegally at the tender age of 16. And now wants it, dog gone. A big massive British bulldog with arrows saying put pure British pointing down to my manhood. But that's not Tom's only tattoo regret. I've got three names but two different women tattooed on my body. And now this 31 year old groom to be has good reason to want them gone. I don't want to see any of the tattoos on my wedding night. When Tom was 16 years old, he couldn't wait to get his first tattoo and added his own personal touch. At the time, I thought I was big and clever. I thought, oh, look at me, I'm cool, I've got a tattoo. But obviously, you know, it wasn't when I got home. Being underage at the time, the joke quickly backfired when he showed his tattoo to his mum. I didn't tell you at the time, but obviously I, I remember going into the bathroom and just crying. Because I just felt it was like a mutilation, seeing that thing on your body. Just, um, I just thought it was horrible. And Mum was even more furious with the tattoo studio. I remember phoning um, trading standards because I wanted to know how you'd got a tattoo when you were underage. The tattooist had said that he'd checked your, your age when you went into the shop. Um, but I know, because, you know, looking at those pictures there, you can tell how young you looked when you were 16, 17. It showed a lack of responsibility. Although his mum wanted to take it further, Tom didn't want to press charges. I talked to her of it. I didn't want to look like, you know, the, the lad who got that tattoo place into trouble. I didn't, you know I mean, it was my, it was my decision. I went there and done it. We can all be forgiven for making mistakes when we're young, but four years on, Tom still hadn't learned. I was 20, I believe, when I had Rachel's name tattooed on me. And then I was about 25 when I had Amy's on my neck. The three Chinese symbols spell Amy's name. But now he's met the love of his life, Jennifer. Those exes are causing a problem. My fiance won't marry me unless I get rid of all the ex-girlfriends tattooed on my body. It bothers me if anybody's name should be on it, it should be mine and no other lass's names. When it's, he's got to spend the rest of his life with me. And then there's Tom's dodgy dog. When I first saw the big dog, um, I just laughed really. I thought it was ridiculous. I think the fact that the narrows are hand drawn and where they're pointing just makes it so much worse. It doesn't represent the person he is. I don't want to be stunning in the aisle, knowing that he's never bothered, he's never even tried to get them removed. I do want him to try his best to get it done before the wedding. Tom needs to get his skates on if he wants to wipe the slate clean. But laser removal can take a long time, and the big day's only a year away. Most people know the meaning of their tattoos, but what happens when the tattoo you get isn't what you think it is? For my next song, I'm gonna be doing one of my own compositions. Musician and performing arts student Amelia was singing for joy when she first got her musical tattoo. It's half a love heart with a treble clef and a bar of music going around. But then she made a shocking discovery. Well, the notes on my tattoo play in the funeral march. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. 
it really did upset me. I cried to my mum that night, let's put it that way. <laughs> At first, 19-year-old Amelia from London couldn't wait to show off her new tattoo. So I put it on Instagram, and I put it on Facebook. Uh, everyone was like, oh wow, it looks really nice, it looks really nice. I love music, like this and that. I, I can't actually read music, I normally play by ear, and that's how I've, that's how I've always taught myself. I obviously didn't know what the notes meant in the tattoo. I thought they were just pretty little melody because it looks pretty, so it must sound pretty. But posting her new inking online soon revealed she'd hit a bum note. One of my musician friends commented on it and said, oh, that's a really nice tattoo. I, was like, I, I like the music notes. So they played the, um, the funeral march. I was like, what? Like, yeah, they, they play the funeral march. It's like, oh. I didn't actually know that. I was like, oh yeah, that's really funny, typing on Facebook and I'm actually dying inside. Like, oh my God, what, what have I done? And she can always rely on her friends to remind her. Dun, 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 oh God, I'd yeah. rather not have a, something that's going to represent my death. So, Amelia's made a decision to get rid of her disastrous ditty. I'm actually getting my tattoo on my leg removed tomorrow. How? Like it's, laser. Laser. it's your body, <laughs> and if you're going to be happier with it off of you, then get it off. Yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, you don't want to have a constant reminder of a negative on you. It's just going to really hurt. <laughs> it's going to really hurt. It's going to remind her. Yeah. It may be painful, but Amelia's got no choice if she wants her tattoo gone. So she's come to a laser removal clinic in London and brought a friend, Leonie, along for moral support. You nervous? I'm getting a bit more nervous now, like where we're just sitting waiting. Yeah. It's like waiting to go into the doctors to get an injection. Okay. Amelia needn't be nervous because laser treatment has become a common procedure. We treat about 20 to 40 tattoos a day, so we have thousands of tattoo removal clients. Ready? Okay, now I'm scared to get that. Don't be nervous. Are you nervous right now? Or are you? Yeah. Cold air is used to cool the skin down before the treatment starts. The laser will definitely reach over 75 degrees in heat, so it's very, very hot. Like a really hot needle. It literally feels like a nerve breaking in my leg. At the moment, the ink's too big to fit into the bloodstream, the, the ink particles. The laser's targeting the pigment in the ink, and then it's smashing that into smaller fragments. Then it's absorbed into the bloodstream. The white, white blood cells will carry that away then as debris. All done? Excellent. You're finished now. We're going to cool you, OK? Wicked. OK, so the notes have done really well. They've already broken up after the first treatment. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and no, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was just really uncomfortable. I was just one of those, just grin and bear it. It may have been a successful first session, but it could take up to a year for the musical notes to be fully erased. I'm feeling more positive about, um, about having it removed completely now. Definitely a good decision that I've made to have it completely removed. With more than one tattoo disaster to remove, Tom's gone to his local tattoo parlour in Warsaw for help. I've got some really poor tattoos, some okay. decisions I made in the past, okay. and I'm looking to either get them covered or lasered. I'll just set the top off. Yeah, yeah, sure. When did you get them done? What? The one on my stomach was when I was 16. Oh, gosh. So I've got that one there that I'd like to get yeah. removed, and okay. then obviously I've got one there. Yeah. Along with the bulldog, Tom's got three Chinese symbols spelling one ex-girlfriend's name. He's also got another ex, Rach, on his chest. The side of your neck and the Rach, not really a problem yeah. to get that lasered off today. Tom's got a long list. Some he wants lasered, but the largest Chinese symbol he wants covered under a new design. Have you got any ideas for what well, you'd like it covered with? I've done some research on the internet and I was looking at a, like a scarab, an Egyptian beetle. Oh, cool, yeah. Like That's relevant anyway, because yeah. they represent rebirth and change yeah. and creation, so yes. that would work quite nicely. Tattoo artist Saz Watts can remedy Tom's tattoo troubles, but she's surprised he was allowed to make such bad decisions in the first place. 
To be honest, it is a shame. I think that it could have been prevented had the professional that he went to um, said, you know, you're not old enough. I always urge people just to wait until you're old enough. So are, you, are you happy with that? You're happy? Excellent, not a problem, right? Today she's going to start by covering up the first of the Chinese symbols representing his ex-girlfriend, Amy. When it's a cover-up, you've got to see what's underneath. You've got to kind of see through the stencil so you know where you're putting it. Saz is determined that Tom won't have any more tattoo regrets. Are you happy with that? Yeah? 100%? 100%. Excellent, right then. Only once he's absolutely sure of the design will she start tattooing the outline. Are you ready? Yeah. And we do a heck of a lot of partner's name cover-ups. Apparently there's a curse associated with getting your partner's name tattooed on you or their initials. I did tattoo my husband at the time's name on me as my first ever tattoo and we broke up. But I've kept that because I, I actually use that as a reminder, never to be that stupid again. I don't need a name on me to show that I love her. This girl I'm actually getting married to, that's should show love more than any tattoo can ever show, so. After an hour and a half in the chair, has at least one of Tom's tattoo disasters been solved? Yeah, we're all done. I suppose you want to take a look? Yes. Yeah, you can't even see the other tattoo. No, you well, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. The scarab beetle might have got rid of one X, but there's more work to do yet. And that one name's gone now, so that was the aim. Um, then we move on to the rest of the work, get rid of the rest of the names, and we can move forward to give us a couple. Tattooists see their fair share of disasters, but they need their own tats to be some of the best in the business. 37-year-old Kevin Paul's tattoos are so good, he's inspired some of Britain's biggest names to trust him with their tats. Ed Sheeran, Rizzle Kicks, Harry Styles, Diversity, Dappy, the list goes on and on and on. But who tattoos the tattooist? As far as Kevin's concerned, there's only one man he trusts enough, his friend. Justin Burnout. The kind of style I wanted was that a bit of like a Latino, soft, elegant look to it. And I think the only person around this area who does that is Justin, so he was obviously the obvious choice to do it. 80% of Kevin's body is already inked, so it's a challenge to find any virgin skin. When you start getting stuff done, it's knowing where to leave it. That's the problem you get when you tattoo. You don't look at the ink bits, you look at the pink bits. There's only one option for today's new inking, Kevin's head. And even here, space is at a premium, with the right-hand side already taken up by a large design. I did a heart with an eye in it to represent our little boy. But there's a very tempting space on the other side of his head. It always felt incomplete. I just didn't know what to have, then I thought about having the same thing on each side to represent my boys. They're totally different characters, like one's like really naughty and always into mischief and the other one's really well behaved. So we're going to do the daggers lined up differently that are going through it, so that it represents that they are slightly different. But it's not an easy job. Tattooing a lumpy, bumpy bonce is no picnic. No one's head's symmetrical exactly. We're trying to match up the centre part of the points at the top of the crown, we need to meet the same so it's balanced on his head. Four uncomfortable hours later, the tattooist to the tattooist has finished the very unique design. I think being a tattooist, I understand the amount of effort that's gone into it and the amount of detail that's gone into it. These have got a really personal meaning as well, because like, that whole thing today was for my little boy. It just reminds me of him. Tattoos are chosen for their meaning. But what happens when your tattoo gives off the wrong message? Electrical engineer Chris's gangster rap pistols are now holding a gun to his head, and he wants to give him the bullet. I wasn't part of a gang, I wasn't into that sort of scene, so it was a bit of a mistake. I wish I'd never done it. As soon as Chris, from Nuneaton in the West Midlands, reached a legal age, he knew he wanted to get inked. I've got five tattoos in, in total of a skull on my wrist. 
I've got a phoenix up top and I've got a, a skull and roses down my side. But one tattoo blew the others out of the water. I decided to get the design I did, the, the guns and the stars and things, mainly because I'd seen influences from music, you know, lead singers of bands and stuff like that, having that sort of tattoo. I suppose it was uh, what's with the gangster tattoo. It was a bit different to what I thought about him. I suppose it was kind of music that we were kind of both into at that time. His mates might have been surprised by Chris's choice tattoo, but the reaction was nothing compared to his mum's. As a kid, she always kept me away from guns and things, even water pistols and stuff. So when she saw I'd got a pair of guns on my, on my shoulders, uh, obviously it wasn't a very good reaction. I was shocked. I hope, I hope not many people see them, because if they do, they might think that he's a bit of a, a thug or something, you know. Chris began to realise his mistake a few years later when he was on his honeymoon. When I went to the Maldives and looked into, you know, what, what was there and, you know, what the people were like in the culture there, and we found out a lot of things about them being anti-military, which you can imagine, you know, it's a nice, peaceful place. They don't want people there with guns. And it really started to make me think about, you know, the fact that I'd got guns on my back and why had I even got them there. It's, it's not, it wasn't me. I did feel embarrassed and ashamed. Now 27-year-old Chris is a happily married father of one, it's time to holster those guns for good. Now that I've got my wife and I've got my daughter, um, you know, I see myself as a bit of a family man. Um, doesn't give off the sort of look as a, a hard-working father. The guns just give off that bad vibe. And I, I just don't want that anymore. I don't want her to be coming to me and saying, you know, Daddy, why have you got guns? So, family man Chris is gunning for a cover-up tattoo to hide his pistols for good. I'm having uh, an eagle. And at work, I see a lot of birds of prey out and about. You know, they always give me that sort of, that, that wow factor, if you like. I want people to look at it and have that sort of uh, reaction to it rather than a bad one. Chris has had the outline of his new tattoo design inked already, but he's got a major worry. Because it's such a dark tattoo, I'm just a bit concerned that they might not be able to do you know, such a good job that it'll cover it completely. Today, he's getting the final work shaded by his tattoo artist, Cesar de Cesaro, in Birmingham. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, yeah, yeah. You're good, yeah. All the outline's completely finished, and today, we're going to finish it off with all the colour and the shading. We usually work with the darker colours first, so I started with the outline, and now I'm shading with browns. But those black guns are really going to restrict the colours Caesar can use. When you do a cover-up, you don't actually cover. You just need to put ink enough for the old ink don't be seen and the new ink prevail. I really like tattooing birds because you can, you can play with the wings, you can play with the head, with the claws and put loads of nice shading and nice colours in the wings. After four hours of intense colour work, Will Chrissy's guns be gone for good? It's going to make me feel a lot better for going on holiday, taking my daughter away and going places with her. I think my mum's going to be really happy with it. Now I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic with the result, absolutely brilliant. Dog tattoo plaster a Tom got when he was underage has come back to bite him. I thought I was big and clever. I thought, oh, look at me, I'm cool, I've got a tattoo. The motley mutt and the names of two ex girlfriends are now threatening his future happiness. My fiance won't marry me unless I get rid of all the ex girlfriends tattooed on my body. Tom's had one tattoo successfully covered up. Now he's having the others removed by Walsall-based laser removal expert, Mick Loco. The only thing difficult is, is with the British Bulldog, yeah. is the laser machine does struggle to pick up red and blue ink. But uh, it'll, def it'll definitely look better after a couple of sessions. Uh. Tom will need to come back for special sittings for the coloured ink. Today, Mick will focus on the black. So there's different types of lenses. You've got your black lens and you've got a coloured lens. And then what happens is like your black will only pick up black and your colour will only pick up colour. Yeah. That's why like if I tried to go over the red hair, it wouldn't it, it won't pick anything up. 
Mick starts with the names, and although they're small, it's still painful. Nothing good. How's that dude? You alright? Yeah, so it's, it stings for the first bit, and then towards the end it stops stinging. Tom's bulldog is so big it'll take months to get removed, but he's clear about which bit he wants to start with. It's the most important thing for me to get rid of, obviously. For me, it's the most childish part of the tattoo. You're done, you want to take a look? But this is only the beginning of a year-long process. Come back and see me in four to six weeks. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. No worries, bro. Can Tom start to put his past behind him to save his future? I'm relieved I'm on route to getting everything removed. Uh, it's, it's been a long time coming and Jennifer gave me the push I needed to get it done and hopefully it should all be finished by the time we get married. Uh, I'm just hoping Jennifer's happy. <laughs> that one, that one you can see is faded already. And that cover looks lovely. That's quite artistic. I know I said I don't like tattoos as a rule, but at least that has got a bit more of um, art form to it. Yeah, I'm excited for the wedding. Happy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that they've done a brilliant job. It looks really good too.